Hi everyone, it's me, Sir Musa. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Are you ready, class? Let's get started. Turn your textbook to page 34. It's story time. Please listen and read. Module 3. Story time. Prince Nebby's Ring. Part 1. 1. Where did Selva's class go on Thursday morning? Listen and read. It's Thursday morning. Selva is talking to his friend Nora. They are at school. Did you finish the project for tomorrow? Selva asks Nora. Yes, I did. I finished late and I went to bed at 12 last night. Says Nora. Did you wake up at 6 today? Selva asks Nora. Yes, I did. And I'm sleepy. Says Nora. OK, children, please get on the bus. Says their teacher, Miss Anita. Selva and his classmates are at the museum now. Miss Anita is showing the children a mummy. This mummy is from Egypt, says Miss Anita. He was a prince. Wow, says Selva. What was his name? Prince Nebby, says Miss Anita. How did he die, Miss Anita? asks Nora. A snake bit him, says Miss Anita. Oh, how terrible, says Selva. And sad, says Nora. How old was he when he died? asks Selva. He was 12 years old, says Miss Anita. The prince always wore a special ring, says Miss Anita. When he died, his family put the ring in his tomb. Unfortunately, someone stole the ring last week. What? says Selva. Someone stole the prince's ring? Yes, says Miss Anita. The police are looking for the ring. Miss Anita shows the children a picture of the ring. This is the ring. It's gold and it's got a big red stone. Wow! says Nora. It's beautiful. How was the story, class? Do you enjoy the story? Now turn to page 36 and do exercise 1 and 2. For exercise 2, you need to listen to the audio here. Revision 3. 2. Listen and circle A or B. Paul is a photographer. He usually takes photos of animals for the magazine Wildlife. Last year, Paul went to Canada. He went to a forest because he wanted to take photos of wild animals. When he got there, he took out his camera and started taking photos. But he didn't see any wild animals like wolves or bears, only frogs. Suddenly, it started raining. Paul found a cave and went in. The rain didn't stop, so he stayed there for the night. When he got up in the morning, he was very surprised. There was a bear in front of him, and it was sleeping. Paul wasn't scared. He got his camera and took a photo of the bear. When he got back home, he came first in the Wildlife Magazine photo competition with his amazing photo of the bear. Please copy exercise 1 and exercise 2 in your exercise book. Thank you, stay safe and goodbye. See you soon.